Hey there, Jacob. How's it going? Yeah, it's a neat question you asked. Um, when have I ever changed my mind? And I thought since I was bored, I'd um, upload this and um, put my two cents plus tax in. Well, let's see here. Well, as I've mentioned on previous videos, I used to be um, religious. I used to be, uh, I was raised in a Mormon family, although I got off lucky in that my, pretty much my entire family um, went away from um, Mormonism and religion in general because um, we thought it promoted elitism. We didn't agree with a lot of things they said. I'm not sure how, where my parents actually stand on whether or not there's a God or not, but they don't go to church or do any of that stuff. So maybe at the very most they're deists. Myself, I'm an atheist, something I came to grips with a while ago, and don't, and I've never looked back. Politically, like you, I used to be um, far left. I used to think government was the best thing in the world. Just trust them. They'll do everything right because they're angels ordained by God and so on and so forth. Yeah, I don't look back on those times with a great degree of fondness, I'll admit. Now, let's see. Well, unfortunately, you got me on vegetarianism. I do eat meat, and I can't really see giving it up. I, I, do, I, I do wonder, like... You acknowledge that um, that the fact that we eat meat was a secret to our success as a species. It's what um, gave us the ability to devote our minds to other pursuits. So I, that's why I find it. Um, I really can't take the position that eating meat is immoral. I mean, we're hardly the only animals who do it, and compared to some other animals out in the wild, I think we're a little nicer to our prey, at least. <coughs> that's. And I'm also wondering, um, what do you think about um, that little bit uh, John Stossel once did about um, how um, some animals were being hunted to extinction, but farming actually saved them. Like uh, the buffalo, he provided that example and says um, they ought to do that for a lot of other endangered species rather than try to make laws that don't work. So, um, yeah... So I guess we we have a lot in common as far as changing our minds go and where we stand now. I um, how I became a libertarian. I think I most I started off um, with Penn and Teller show. I really thought that was great. A lot of the stuff they did, a lot of stuff I didn't agree with them at first, but I kept thinking about it and thought, what they, what are they arguing is the Endangered Species Act. That's not that's a that's a good act, isn't it? But they gave very good answers, and I found myself at a loss when I was trying to think of an argument against them. So, yep, and um, here I here I am saying nasty things about government all the time, and getting nasty things said to me about it. That was familiar. Oh, and uh, let's see. So that's something that annoys people, that when I debate with them, I tell them, yeah, I've heard this reason before, I used to use it myself all the time. And, of course, they don't believe me. They think I'm just making that up. There's no way, there's no way somebody could think like them and then think harder and decide, no, that's not right, this is what's right. Sound familiar to you at all? I'm sure it does. But, uh, well, yeah, take solace in the fact that you're not alone, at least. I've come from similar backgrounds, and well, let's uh, let's just hope there'll be more of us in the future. Because right now, I think there's not enough right now. Well, good luck to you, and um, keep up the videos. You do a great job, and you know, I'll, I'll keep working and try to make ones that don't suck as badly. Anyways, take care. And until next time, be aware and be wise.